tell us how those connections go together. Okay, what happened was, uh, this this story's been floating around Hollywood for a while. Okay. Uh -huh. And Tribe Food Squad has it. A lot, it got in a lot of people's hands. Mm -hmm. And it was the book was on sale in Oakland, California, and San Francisco, and mm -hmm. LA. And the book the book was floating around too, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I finally got to meet up with Terrence Howard mm -hmm. at the Four Seasons Hotel. Mm -hmm. And we sat down, and like I did Jamie, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm mesmerizing by telling him the story. He said, oh my God, man, I gotta play you, man. We gotta figure out how to get a budget. Take my Julian's, my, 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 my personal manager's number, man. We gotta do this. I really wanna play you, man. I like your style. Mm -hmm. So I gave him a book and a script. The one we have. The, the one book. you have in front of you, Bigger Than Big. Got it. But it says The Real Empire now, Bigger Than Big. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, and then, the next thing you know, the sick the, the, the uh, show comes out. What happened was, I'm riding through the uh, bay, right across the bay bridge, and somebody said, Ron, can you just get a Maserati? I said, yeah. He said, you must have got paid for that script. I said, what script? Mm -hmm. He said, well, your script, it's on TV. I said, I ain't got paid, I, mm -hmm. I ain't got paid nothing. This is some other kind of money. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. He said, well, man, you need to go home and get on home demand. It's on there, and it, I said, well, who is the guy playing me? He said, Terrence Howard. I said, oh, my God. I said, okay, metal to the pedal, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I said, right. I got, to get there, I got to get there fast. Mm -hmm. So I called my daughter, and I said, China Dog, do you know anything about a movie called Empire? She said, yeah, Dad, I've been watching it, and I never wanted to really say nothing because I know you can go there. So I didn't really want to mention to you, but it has similarity of your story in your book in your documentary. Mm -hmm. He's, now, he, huh? Can you say or do you feel that your conversation with, with uh, Terrence had influence? Had influence on Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. He has three boys. I have three boys and now they're adding another boy, which I had four boys. Mm -hmm. One of them got killed. Mm -hmm. So um, I mean the way the, the story's riding is riding Sorry. right into my whole life story. Mm -hmm. It's, it's my story. I mean, I know it's my story. And um, I have brought along a um, part of a, the pilot that they did with him and Malik was talking before he killed Bunky, Bunky or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he says, uh, oh, yeah, Bunky owes this guy, Sean Johnson, 150000 He from Hunters Point. And Hunters Point, he uh, runs girls and drugs from here to... Uh, some kind of place in New York, right? Mm -hmm. And I go, wow. That's on the West Coast. Yeah, why would he know about Hunter's Point? Yeah. Now, before you go into that point, point you... Say it, bitch! You done fucked up now, you know that, Dunce. There's, 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 there's a Hunter's Point. But how do you run, what, you gonna run from the Bronx to across the state? 